ended up being four units. Um, they're supposed to be six, but a couple of them came and paid up right at the beginning. So they only ended up being four units. They were pretty much mostly junk. I bought one of them for 20 bucks. It's a complete junk one, but there's a bunch of stuff in it. We'll see what we can dig out. Other one, I ended up paying $295. And this was one that was part of a crime ring that the police came and confiscated some stuff out of there and then left the rest. So hoping maybe find something you know really interesting in there, but I'm not sure. We'll see. It kind of doesn't look like a whole lot, but you never know. And this is the one that the police had the search warrant for and confiscated. I paid $295. Probably paid too much, but I was curious mainly because I mean, there's that's a cool table and a old toolbox. Some containers to look through. Camping stove. A couple saddles back there. It doesn't necessarily look like stuff that they were stealing. I mean, there's a an island there, but it needs some help. And a set of um, lockers, more containers, there's a toolbox here, empty, styrofoam plates, three dollars new, but yeah, see here right here, it's got the paperwork, right? magistrate court of Paulding County, this chair right here is pretty cool, this stick chair, saddle, saddle, here's an antique, um dresser but look the veneers all coming off and everything but um that's off of something i don't know here's a portable ac it's like a big i don't know if it's a pallet or a dolly that's on down there but looks like clothing in there some kind of um Interchangeable curling kit, like curling iron type deal. Saddle looks looks pretty rough. There's a saddle there. It says Abeta, A B, Abeta, A B E T T A. Got some big, old, big old foam pieces and some wood. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if this is stuff that they were. Doesn't really look like stuff that they were stealing. I mean, maybe they were. I don't know. But not nothing. I was, you know, hoping there might be something interesting. Still, who knows? Once we look through all these containers, but I think the police already came, and I think basically they're supposed to come and look. And if there's anything that there, you know, was reported stolen, you know, say there was a chainsaw with a certain, you know, certain model chainsaw that somebody reported stolen, then you know they could confiscate that. But who knows? It doesn't look like there would have been much to compensate in here, but we'll come back and show a little more footage from this one. All right, we're back at the 10 by 10. I bought at the auction the other day. The one that the police had the warrant for came in here and um, apparently they were looking for something. Probably paid too much for this one. But we're gonna take another look at it and get it loaded up. And I did already take when I opened it up that day, I went ahead and grabbed, there was a set of lockers, there was like a stick wicker looking bench, I got it, and then a little end table. Those were all pretty nice um, items actually. The rest of it, I don't know, but like I said, here's the Magistrate Court of Paulding County, Georgia. Let's get all the details on the um, warrant and everything, and then we will see what else we find in here. Water's deep. I got out and I'm like, oh went over your shoes. <laughs> the river running down through here. Cool. This is when I got that furniture out that I brought you. Mm. But I don't know gonna really find much else in here some clothes all right so yeah they had a search warrant on this one I don't let, know if any of this stuff was stuff they had stolen I think they were just involved in stealing and they came here and looked I don't know who knows what they got out of here camping stove 
I'm going to put that in. Mm-hmm. All right, this is going to have a dirty comforter, a uh, whatever you call that thing, this toaster oven, and a vapor shark, vapor tech industrial odor control system. So, this could be something worth a couple of bucks. It's not very heavy. Let's see what it looks like here. Sometimes this industrial stuff can be in the world. Disconnect power before servicing units. This is what smells. It's whatever was in this thing right here. I don't know what that is. Smells like like mouthwash. So I'll have to look this thing up and see if it's worth anything. And then down in here, what is this? Oh, there's a little um, sound bar and a little multi outlet thing like you plug into your car. Let's see. Yep, that in right there plugs in, and then you'll have multiple outlets. But still, not the kind of stuff you'd think you would find, you know, if they're stealing stuff. I think I already saw that. It's like hair stuff. So we got some nice hair. We got the interchangeable curling iron. Oh, it's that right there. Yeah. Um, Mika. That's probably um. The glove. The key. That's probably pricey. There's a big old tarp. We got the I can do all things through through Christ who strengthens me homemade sign. So this is all like just kind of auto WD-40. That's a pretty much full thing of glass cleaner. But so here's something the wall. It's the wall. Okay, some staples. But yeah, normally if they do have a search warrant on a unit, they come in here and anything that they have, they have certain items that they're looking for, either actual merchandise that specific, you know, like a tool with a model and serial number or whatever, or sometimes they might be looking to confiscate any paperwork or a laptop or something that might have incriminating evidence. Most of the stuff, that's all like pots and pans. But there is eh, decent looking stuff, stainless steel, but kind of worn out. What else was in there besides the hair thing in here? Like all More hair stuff, stuff. Yeah. and a piece of wood. Piece of wood with a metal. They had, they, it was like a shelf or something. Shelf, yeah. Hair, yeah. another hair. Yeah. Items. All right. Maybe they had something good in this cooler here. Maybe there's a um a dead fish. Because they've got the um. You've got the ruler here. You can catch your fish, throw it up on their measure, and then throw it in here. So let's see. Oh, there's actually a brand new, this has some leaves in it, um, cookware set, Super Chef, and a big old paintbrush that's all dry and stiff. Good. And a stapler, Stanley stapler. So that's not bad. The cooler sellable. Nice big cooler with the wheels. It's got the big handle. And then a new cookware set. Hold that for a minute. Let's see what's in there. Under here.
must keep. Top must keep. And it's just enclosed. It's closing. Let's go to this one. Towels. <laughs> One more down here, it's another My Very Pictures. My Very Pictures Important. And this looks, um, like it's, uh, it's all wet and moldy, VHS. There's an old Atlas mason jar. I think that hole is it supposed to have holes in it? No, it's just rust. It's, it's just rusted the hole. It's moldy, moldy Christmas stuff. Literally got mold. Apparently, something was wet when they put it into that container because then it made the whole thing wet and moldy. All right, let's see what we got back this way. Styrofoam board. We got a couple ramps. More styrofoam board, piece of wood, a big old tent here. I don't hear any holes in it though. And then another pop up. All right, this is like a pop up, pop up canopy. This bag here, we've got some towels and washcloths. I'm gonna pull this. Grab that stem that saddle. We'll move this over here. We can see it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This thing is heavy. We got a saddle here. It's actually, I mean, it's it's dirty, but it's not too. I mean, it's got some wear, but I don't see it broken or really all the way worn out in places. There's a little bit of there's wear across there, but probably would be functional or something. Use it as a decoration. And we have another saddle up there that we'll have to get down and look at. Is there any other? Okay, we got a container down here. We haven't looked in. And I think we got one, there's a couple back here in the back that we still haven't looked in. Nothing. Just blankets and towels. Blankets and towels. So a lot of just clothes and blankets. Same thing as this. Clothes and blankets. And what's in the big one down there? Sheets. Same thing or you know what I mean? We do have the trailer light set. And more, we got several of the car spray cleaner, spray paint, cover up, ceiling paint, and same thing here. Got a big old thing of Murphy oil soap. And just more of the same there. All right, she's digging that. She's gonna see what's in that container down there. Let me see if I can get down to this one here. What is it? Okay, she's got it open back here, let's see. And it's gonna be more, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark over here, but it's more just paint. Spray cans, but there's also like actual gallon cans. Looks like it. Oh, tent poles. <laughs> All right, well, let's look at this one last container. Some sandpaper and paintbrush. All right, let's see if we can get down to it. A wooden bat, let's see. We do have a wooden bat. I don't see any markings on it. Hopefully we can fix this right here. 
fix that um, drawer there. If we can get that fixed, that might be a good item. Let's see. And <laughs> more blankets. So basically, there was a bunch of just, there was a lot of nothing in this one for the most part. The majority of the containers either had blankets, clothes, the moldy Christmas stuff, or all the, the paint and everything. So not much doing on this one. This is one of those that probably once everything's added up, I mean, I'll, you know, probably four or $500, so make just a few bucks, but really not worth the time. But we're here now already paid for it i gotta take it all we gotta get it all out of here can you get that saddle down we can show it real quick or is it gonna be heavy so we haven't seen the other side of it We have the one last saddle here. It's it's pretty rough and dirty also, but I think it is usable. All right, up under the this box was sitting in there, with the paper plates, this stuff here. But a lot of the stuff like that's full. A lot of stuff will sell. Um, it's a bazooka. No. <laughs> Pull open until locked here. Danger rear blast area. It's like part of a. Looks like part of a bazooka type thing. I was just kidding around, but I think it is. Some kind of rocket launcher. So it's just part of one, but that'll go in the auction. And people will bid on that. But then here, look, we've got, so that's full. This stuff will all sell, so it'll add up probably more than, it, you know, more than it looks. Oh, look. Oh, trying a little camping shovel. This is funny because last summer at the beach, my son wanted one of these shovels to dig in the sand, and we drove all over the place. Places were sold out of this thing, these little camping shovels. part of a car but we've got a what is this I think that's like a horn or something or alarm wood beam heavy bag oh that's oh, everlast to hang up a um, heavy punching bag look here's a CB it looks like yep really Cobra she's find a Satur practice kit yeah. practice what oh, surgery no. yes Okay, so it's a little doctor practice kit. <laughs> There's a little strobe light. It's for demonstration and educating the plane. Huh. Then we got the Cobra little handheld walkies there. And some LED lights. And I almost forgot about our Beatles picture that was back in the back. Now that we got to where we can pull the whole thing out, let's take a look at it. It's like a mounted poster, kind of. <clears throat> the Beatles' last concert, 1966, San Francisco. It's a little rough on the edges, but it'll definitely still sell. And then we got a mirror back here, but it's missing the mirror. A mirror missing the mirror. It's got the two little mirror pieces, but most of it's gone. <clears throat> They did put this. They put this stuff on these plastic pallets in here. All right, I did end up finding in one of those containers of clothes that we didn't really look at when I got back. I kind of skimmed through. Pretty nice Braves Hank Aaron jersey here. It's like in perfect shape. Most of the other clothes though were kind of just ratty clothes. But um, yeah, this stuff was added there. This was added to the toolbox, Coleman camp stove, these couple of saddles here were the ones that I showed you and project furniture over there. And there was quite a bit of um, paint and a lot of dollar stuff, a lot of, a lot of tools, but just like small hand tools, 
tools and paint and stuff along those lines, along with you know the, the couple pieces of furniture that I showed. So overall, all right. That was another one. Both of the units I bought that day at that auction, the one was the complete trash unit. This was the one that I paid, you know, a little bit more than I should have because thought, you know, maybe they got something in there if the police were, were looking for them. Um, also, hold on, let's see. There ended up being, okay, yeah, that's the Beatles picture. I showed that, but there was stuff like the pop-up tent, the tarp, and then this big tent right here, this big eight-person tent, it had the, ended up having the poles in there and the ramps. So if you add everything together, like I said, it'll turn on all right. Nothing real great. Um, went and picked up another unit today. That video will be coming out after this one. And then I bought a couple more units that I'm going to go pick up. And one of them looks like it's going to be a really good one. All of the units I've been getting here lately have just been junkers. But there just hasn't been a lot that's been that great. And the few that have been great have been going really high because it's tax season. I've been bidding on them, but they're just getting to the point where, you know, I just have to stop on them. But a few of them, you know, a few nicer ones did go cheap today I got. But those will be a few videos down the road because I've already got one that I went today that was all right, kind of a weird unit that I'll be showing next. But anyways, that's it for this one. Watch those videos coming up. Hit the like button, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.